My BFI player choice this week is a 2021 gem from writer-director Todd Stevens, featuring German screen legend Udo Kier in one of his most likeable and memorable roles, Swan Song. <laughs> Stevens, whose CV includes Gypsy 83 and another gay movie, returns to his hometown of Sandusky, Ohio for this tale of a former hairdresser on a pilgrimage to prepare his once star client for her funeral. Kier is Pat Pitzenbarger, whose quest leads him to the parlour of Jennifer Coolidge's Dee Dee Dale, a rival who stole Rita away from him and from whom he is now attempting to steal classic hair products. As Pat journeys through his past, so he's gradually transformed, picking up a hat here, a green suit there, until arriving at an old drag bar that's about to close down, setting the scene for one last glorious hurrah. Having memorably starred in Andy Warhol's Flesh for Frankenstein and worked with everyone from Werner Herzog and Lars von Trier to Gus Van Sant, Guy Madden and Valerian Borovchik, Kier is more than able to play a man with an exotic past taking stock of his life. His performance here, which reminded me a little of Harry Dean Stanton's great late life role in Lucky, is utterly winning, like a Germanic Quentin Crisp at large in small town America. It's astonishing that the face which seemed so sinister in films like Breaking the Waves is here full of sympathetic pathos and tragicomic poignancy. Hats off to Todd Stevens for reminding us just what a versatile talent Keir really is. A hit at South by Southwest in March 2021, Swan Song went on to become something of a festival favourite, picking up awards everywhere from Bucharest to Dublin, Monte Carlo to Norway. It really is a treat of a film. Enjoy. Let's <laughs> see, it's great with words.